Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is a flat Todd Friday. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, we're going to do this one together. It's edibles at night. Boom. Sorry, these, you probably got injured by my ring. These guys are sick of me this week. <laughs> no, they love you. They love you. Love you and we love here. having Todd. Uh, thank you. Yeah, of course. All right, let's get to it. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> let's just get to it. What do we got? Wait. What are you guys doing tomorrow night? Oh, oh yeah. Me and Todd are going to be I'll at be this there. show. All right, Troubadour. I'm on at nine, guys. You can huckle me in real life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, we'd rather have edibles at night. <laughs> Like Jen throws me on stage. Yes. Um, Momager. Right. Momager uh, right here. Uh, a very cool guitar. From 1941. An original gloss mahogany finish. An 017. Martin 017. Okay, okay. Okay, what do you know? What do you know? Okay, so... Before I get started, I was just doing a little research. And I found an ad from a catalog from 1941, so it would have been the exact same year. And it <laughs> was originally $30. That thing? Yes, that's that, that guitar. Thing? Selected mahogany body, top and neck, with rosewood fingerboard, Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Steel T-bar makes the slim neck very rigid under the oval fingerboard with wide frets and white dots. Those are not wide frets. Um, hand rubbed and polished lacquer finish. Okay, so the gloss finish designates it typically, though there are irregularities with all years, from the 015. So it's a little bit shinier. You can, the 015s, they're almost identical, a few different changes. Um, nickel plated tuning machines with single unit style white buttons. Those were also on uh, the 015, so it's kind of hard to tell just from looking at these if you can't tell if there's a, a matte finish or not. Um, ivory. Uh, nut. <laughs> What'd you laugh? Uh, yeah, this is a really cool guitar. Um, <laughs> very slim neck. So, sorry, sorry. Momager. Momager. Um, so Handling business. I got roped into this because we have another one of these. And it's a 47. Yeah. And that thing has a baseball neck. Yeah, totally. Baseball different. bat. This is like very, very slim. Um, sort of like a soft V. If you're familiar with new Martins, it's kind of like their performance style neck. Um, these are also a favorite guitar of John Frusciante. Yep. Happy belated birthday. He turned 50, I think. Oh yeah, 50. Happy 50th. Um, and, but he, he's known for the 015. So, almost identical guitar, but there are some distinctions, and if you are looking for a John Frusciante guitar, this ain't it. This ain't the 015. Um, but yeah, really very clean guitar. I think this um, great. This one is loud. The construction on these is very light and um, yeah, there's very, and what that means really, the lighter the construction, the more resonance. Um, the difference between this and an O18 is the mahogany top. That's, so these were like a uh, student, cheaper, less expensive, only 30 bucks back then. Um, there is nothing wrong with these. No, not at all. Some of my favorite guitars of all time. I think we should take it out front. Let's do it. Let's play some songs, Todd. In fact, I'll play that one. <laughs> all right, we're out front with the 1941 Martin 017, and it's more edibles at night. Because it's just why not? And, uh, <laughs> we have two of them. We have two O seventeens. Uh, uh, this is a forty seven. Yeah, fatter neck. Huge neck. This has a tiny neck. Thin neck. This has a fat neck. All right, well, let's do some jam. We're just gonna jam. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Nice. <laughs> Alright, next one. Uh, Bring in the microphone. You better figure it out. Hold on, hold you, got, you got two seconds. <laughs> I, get to, be, I get to be the looper. Yeah. Here you go, Carlos. Right. A, looper, for Carlos. a looper you can really dig into. <laughs> Todd. A looper you can text. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Looping? Looping. <laughs> all the way through. Did you just see this? He did that the whole time. <laughs> Look at my fingers. <laughs> Close up. Well, check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. We got two of them. And they both are different in their own special ways. Um, Love these things. Yeah, they're really cool guitars. Um, and also, come out tomorrow. Troubadour. I'll be on around 9 p.m. And the rest of the bands are going to be great. And uh, we're excited. So, see you guys tomorrow for a Strider Day. Bye. The howling animals. <laughs> 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 <laughs>